The issues regarding the use of corn ethanol for political, economic, and social are as follows. Ethanol is very corrosive and absorbs water. Only about 10% of corn is actually used for human consumption. And farmers will still be able to make their money off of their corn production. Some economic and environmental issues are that corn prices may rise, droughts may affect the production in certain years, ethanol reduces miles per gallon, and pollutes the air. Finally, the social issue is that we are using corn for ethanol use instead of food consumption. Corn ethanol has been around for over a hundred years. Back in the early 1900s, it would have been known as alcohol, then eventually being called corn ethanol. Henry Ford invented the first car, the Model T, to run on corn ethanol. Over the years, ethanol became more widespread and became more incorporated in oil and gasoline nationwide. In the early 1990s, U.S. car manufacturers began producing vehicles that could run on up to 85% ethanol. Also in the early 1990s, Clean Air Regulations and Emission Regulation Acts were passed by Congress to help limit pollution. In 1992, Congress passed the Energy Policy Act, which limited our dependence on imported petroleum. Leading up to the present, there have been several issues with corn ethanol, and now there are problems and conflicts that come and go by the day. However, it is an important subject because more and more cars are hitting the roads every day, and oil is a non-renewable resource, so changes need to be made in order to sustain economies around the globe. The statement of issue that we are discussing today relates to the use of corn ethanol. Is corn-based ethanol a viable long-term solution as a source of fuel? Our recommendation is to limit the use of corn for fuel. Currently, the average use every year for ethanol is around 40%, and we believe that limiting that use to around 25% would be better for the economy and environment. There will be three main areas that would be affected with our policy change. First, and most importantly, the environment is affected the greatest. Countries are clearing more and more land to plant and harvest corn for the use of ethanol. For example, Brazil has cleared millions of acres of trees in order to plant corn, which will be harvested for ethanol use. Doing this reduces the amount of carbon dioxide that can be, as, can be absorbed, as well as limiting the amount of oxygen that is given off. Also, it has been statistically proven that E85 ethanol is 23 to 33 percent more harmful on the environment than regular gas. This only means that ethanol should not be viewed as a long-term solution and other options should continually be pursued. Secondly, there will be economic and social implications. Currently, only about 15 percent of all corn production is used for food or beverage consumption. Over 40% is used for ethanol production and about 45% used for livestock. This is a dangerous statistic due to the fact that there are millions and millions of people globally who face hunger every day. If we could limit the amount of corn used for ethanol production, we would be able to feed more people and limit global hunger. Farmers make the majority of their money from selling their corn crop to be used for ethanol production. So if we limit how much they can sell, they will lose some of their revenues and possibly lead them to going under. Also, if more corn is being grown and harvested for the purpose of food, this would lead to lower prices for everyone involved. Finally, political implications are also relevant. State and federal governments have been subsidizing the corn ethanol industry for over 30 years with taxpayers' money. If this industry is limited, that means more taxpayer money can be used for other industries and areas of concern. Also, the corn ethanol industry goes hand in hand with state and federal elections. Since 2008, over 187 million have been spent on lobbying officials by the ethanol industry. Therefore, any changes dealing with ethanol will face great resistance from public officials nationwide. This time on Partners, it's Fueling America. From super yeast that improve ethanol production to small business developed technologies that recycle fats into biodiesel. From algae unlocking the power of photosynthesis for clean hydrogen fuel. To switchgrass, a fast growing biomass alternative for making ethanol. Scientists are revolutionizing the way we power the country. As stated earlier, our final goals for this proposal is that the use of corn ethanol be reduced from 40% to 25% over the next couple of years. 
Ethanol is proven to be more harmful to the environment as well as we are using food for gasoline when thousands are suffering from starvation. Finally, we hope to see the use of corn ethanol down to 25% by 2017 to ensure that we are going more eco-friendly.